in 2018. Disruptive tech research founder Lou uh, Bazanis. Uh, Lou, first of all, technology. Next year, you have a lot of IPOs that are probably going to come out. The Ubers of the world, the Pinterest of the world. Could that be the ingredient that changes at least the market psychology revolving around these names right now? Look, I, I think it, it depends on who leads out of the gate. If it's Uber, I think you're going to get, they're going to, someone's going to hit the reset button on that valuation. That IPO is going to perform similar to Snapchat uh, and struggle really mightily out of the gate. So uh, I would look more towards so Lyft. Whoa, I just, you're comparing Uber to Snapchat? I do. Look, I think Uber's IPO is going to be a massive reset on the valuation, just like Snapchat was. Uh, Snapchat needs to just go ahead and disappear already, as far as the stock, stock investment is concerned. But yeah, I think Uber is of the two, Uber and Lyft. I, I'm more constructive on Lyft. Uh, Uber's valuation, just too frothy a, a, at these levels. I don't think it would be good news for the market if Uber was the first out of the IPO gate for the, for the tech uh, companies. Airbnb, Planeteer, Pinterest, uh, any of those names have the potential to sort of lead to parade. Planeteer and Airbnb, I think, uh, very bullish on those names. It's, again, depends on valuation, where they come, what the demand is. But uh, if you look at Palantir, it's capitalizing on, on data and cybersecurity, one of the biggest needs that has been criminally underinvested in in, in, in the country for, for decades now. So I think that's a, a great opportunity there. Airbnb, uh, got to see the financials a little bit. But I, it will be interesting. It will trade at a premium to hotel stocks, but how much of a premium will be justified? That's, that's yeah. the, the, the $64,000 question. And there. I'm a little worried about some of these municipalities uh, taxing these industries or making it tougher. Uh, I, I forgot which city it was, but late last week someone put out a rental tax, right? So, you know, it's, and you got to register. Uh, it, it's, it, they're making it complicated, and I think they're doing it for, you know, not only to raise money, but maybe to slow these industries down. So let's get back to the established names already. Uh, we can't talk tech without talking Apple. Where are you right now with respect to Apple? It has to do well. It doesn't necessarily have to lead to charge, I don't think, but it has to be trending higher if technology is going to do well. Look, I'm going to be immortalized as the guy that came on here as the Apple fanboy. So I, I, am, I am still bullish on Apple long term. I, I do think you've seen analyst sentiment come in. The estimates have come in after the last quarter's report. I think we may get, after this holiday quarter, one of those once or twice uh, a year buying opportunities where you can back up the truck. I think if Apple breaks below 140, that becomes a tremendous buying opportunity on a company, one of the world's largest, that is still growing earnings at 40 percent a clip quarter over quarter. So uh, yeah, I do agree with you wholeheartedly. Apple has to participate. Otherwise, we're not going to see this tech rally continue. Let me get your quick thoughts on the chip sector. Uh, yeah. You know, they, some days they look intriguing, other days they don't. To me, that's where all the excitement is, whether it's NVIDIA, uh, uh, AMD, and some of these other areas. Amen. 100% agree. Everyone talks about the Internet of Things. It's really the Internet of Chips, right? It's all semiconductors going into countless consumer electronics and every other device we can think of. I like uh, Broadcom. I think that's a great, safe, conservative way to play the chip space. They've had six quarters in a row of, of more than doubling profit. And when the NASDAQ was rolling over down almost 20% in the last couple of months, Broadcom was actually up 5%. That divergence is something that we need to be paying attention to going Absolutely. into the new year. Lou, happy, uh, happy New Year, and uh, we'll see you again real soon. Sounds good. You too, Charles. Thanks right. again. Hey, a cyber attack originating from outside.